With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, it is given that a fair coin is tossed repeatedly until two consecutive, two consecutive heads are obtained. Now, if the probability that two consecutive heads are heads occur on fourth and fifth toss is p, the probability is given as p. Then we have to find the value of 30 upon p. So first of all, it is given that a fair coin is tossed repeatedly, and the two consecutive heads occur at occur at fourth and fifth position. So two heads occur at this these positions. Now, if we talk about this third position, there would be a tail. If a head would occur here, then two consecutive heads would be possible on four, third and fourth position, but it is not the case. So these three values are constant. This will remain here. Now we have to talk about these two positions. So first of all, for the first case, in these two positions, there is one head. Why I'm talking about one head? If there are two heads on these positions, then two consecutive heads are obtained on the first and second position itself. But that is again not the case. So only one head is possible here. So probability, probability in this case, let us assume probability P1 is equal to uh, there we want one head in one of these positions so that would be probability of head into probability of tail into probability of head into probability of head now for a fair dice probability of head is equal to probability of tail that is half so half into half into half into half this is probability p1 now let us check the second case second case is for these two positions there would be two tails two tails can be here so we need the probability so if two tails are here then we need the probability of not head not head tail not head not head and head and head so for this case the probability p2 is equal to probability of not head that is tail into probability of not head that is again tail into probability of tail into probability of head into probability of so that is again equal to half into half into half into half into half that is half raised to the power 5. This is probability 2. Now this total probability, total probability is P1 plus P2. In the question it is given as P. So P is equal to P1 plus P2 that is 1 upon 2 raised to the power 4 plus 1 upon 2 raised to the power 5. So that would be uh, LCM is 2 raised to the power 5. Uh, here we will get 2 plus 1. So value of P is 3 upon 32. This is the value of P. Now in the question, we need to find the value of 30 upon P. So that would be equal to 30 divided by 3 by 32. So that would be equal to 30 into 32 divided by 3. So this would be 320. This is the required answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.